What's up, Melanated family? This is your boy Harrison from MelanatedFathers.com and Melanated Fathers TV, bringing you the latest news as it pertains to our people family. Now, a black man from Michigan named Jerry Motley Jr. is in jail today after shooting and killing the owner of the company he used to work for. He also shot a co-worker who he says constantly bullied him and, you know, would call him the nigga, will call him nigga and shit like that. Now, uh, it's interesting to note that co-workers that worked with him actually did testify on Friday, basically testifying to that fact that his co-worker, which his name was Angelo McCall, Angelo McCall would bully him, call him names and shit like that. And one day the brother just got tired of it. Right now, Motley, who's 26. He's of Clinton Township. He's basically accused of fatally shooting the owner of the company he worked for, which is Reliable Fence. The man he killed, his name is Tom Badke, who was 61 years old, and he killed him basically after an argument escalated with Angelo McCall, the, the co-worker in which he had the problems with. Now, investigators told, news, told the newspaper, the local newspaper, that Motley shot the co-worker twice in the back after the argument, and when co-workers attempted to take the gun away from him, he shot the company owner in the head. Now, before the deadly incident, um, you know, different friends of his tried to tell him to ignore the situation, try to tell him to ignore the situation, um, but he didn't, obviously, you know what I'm saying? The night before the shooting, he was on Facebook, he was making Facebook videos about how racist his co-workers were and different things like that. So check it out, family. And, you know, the story would go on to say that the brother... Um, the brother had some kind of mental illness as well. Like they're trying to use, um, that defense by basically saying, you know, he, he had, he was suffering from mental illnesses and he was mentally insane at the time of the shooting, you know, while he was, um, while he was in high school, he was also in the special ed classes as well. They made sure to put that in here. So how do y'all feel about that, family? I mean, you in a situation where, you know, you, you are encountering racism on your job. This is a little too far, right? I mean, that's how I feel about it. Of course, being called nigga, being put in these situations where you are working with several white people, maybe. And they did mention that he was the only black man on the job. You see what I'm saying? So, of course, that will piss you off. Of course, it'll make you want to do something. But, you know. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe the brother was, maybe the brother did have some mental shit going on because I mean, all you had to do was meet the coworker or your boss, wait till they get off work, follow them for a minute, whoop their ass. You feel me? Worst case scenario, you do something like that, you probably gonna get probation or a assault charge or some shit like that. But this brother actually took it to the extent of shooting him in the head and killing him, and then shooting the other coworker twice in his back. It seems like he was trying to kill him too. You feel me? So do y'all feel that's a appropriate action for this type of for this type of situation you know what i'm saying because you know ultimately um the way i feel about it now that he's done this now he's going to be away from his family now he's going to be in the penitentiary system where the racism in the in just in the injustice run rampant in there as well. So I don't know if he's gonna uh, escape one reality for the next, you feel me? So even though I'm against racism, I'm against white supremacy, I think all of us should be doing our best to um, combat this system in some way or another. You know, shooting your boss in your head at, <laughs> shooting your boss in his head at work may not be the best course of action, you feel me family? So for more stories like this, please go to MelanatedFathers.com, go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube, hey man, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube page, Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you can know when new shit drop. I'm gone.